The main changes I've noticed is that nothing hurts ever. And so I'm able to practice five days a week. I'm able to compete fully healthy. So now I can block pain-free, I can swing pain-free, I can dive pain-free, like everything is pain-free, so I can play 100% all the time. Don't have to worry about pop yet, just keep it smooth. Before I started working with a trainer, if I was sitting in a car and I couldn't stretch out my left leg, the pain was so bad that I was like almost in tears. Try recommended I work with a trainer because Try's been doing it for years and years. He's like, bro, he can't just keep winging it if you want to take this serious. So last year was actually the first time in my life that I worked with a trainer. I worked with Christian Hartford at USA Volleyball, absolutely loved him. And then Christian took a job up in Washington. Then me and Nathan ended up meeting because I coached him. Uh, through Better at Beach, and then we ended up, we got along great, went out to the lab, he showed me a thing or two, and he has been freaking awesome. Like, after every tournament, he'll say, how do you feel if I have a lower back that's sore? He tweaks the workouts, he gives me a pre-game day workout, a game day workout. I couldn't be any more supportive, so my fitness is like at a totally different level. As soon as the arms hit the end of the range, yeah. just a little, come up. Yeah. The big differences between training somebody for beach versus any other court or field related sport is obviously the sand. We don't get any of that rebound effect that you would normally get on a basketball court, tennis court, etc. So the muscles have to create all the speed and the power. So I've adjusted Travis's training to kind of reflect that. Kona brew, Tanya. Keeping a firm grip. I'll go all the way down, all the way back. Perfect. This year, I've been preparing for tournaments, a mix of things. I try to get as many days on the sand as possible. So I usually try to do four to five days on the sand a week and then five days of lifting, which is really three days of lifting with two sort of mobility, or as Nathan calls them, he calls them accessory days. So the first stretch of the season started in February with two tournaments in Ozark, Missouri, and then through Cuba. So that was 10 tournaments at the beginning of the season. And then I took a month off competing. So I was like taking a time out. I was sort of hurt because I lost 20 pounds from February to mid-May. Called Nathan, I was like, build me back up, baby. The second chunk of the season started in Switzerland. I'm Swister, my boy Jake McNeil. This was a chunk of 11 tournaments that will end after Virginia Beach. And then it'll be another down stretch, and then it'll be a couple international tournaments and a few last AVPs at the end of the year. So I just chunked it into three parts with about a month of space in between each chunk. So in regards to what an athlete has to travel, especially learning from Travis this season, is a lot of the weight loss. When we start losing weights, that's almost guaranteed he's losing strength and power with that. So just trying to get him, especially in these smaller countries, to have enough protein and higher quality carbs in his diet so that every time he comes back, he's not five to six pounds lower. The hardest part of being in all these different countries, trying to play well, trying to eat enough food, it, it, it's everything. So it's usually just like finding the right food and also finding a gym. It's really difficult going overseas or even just anywhere domestic to find a gym with the proper stuff. I have a Planet Fitness membership because they're all over the country. They don't have any free weights and Nathan's a big free weight guy. So I'm just using like these little machines. And so it, the hardest part is just selling into a routine with both your food, your sleep, your gym, your practice routine, everything's thrown off. So just trying to settle into a reasonable routine again. You're popping on that. Mid-season, that's as good as you can hope for. <laughs> that is as good as you can hope for. Oh, the progress he's made has been amazing. He now looks like an athlete. He's got pop to his jumps. He can change direction so much better. In regards to just how he looks on the sand, it's, a, it's night and day from last season to this. And that's not just me, he put in the work. I just kind of help guide the journey. Manhattan, I'm stoked. I mean, this is the biggest event of the year. It's my favorite doubles tournament of all time. And if anyone goes, you'll easily see why. I mean, people come out in throngs to watch the, the qualifier hacks like me come out and play. And so, like, I'm feeling awesome. I mean, I took this weekend off, didn't go to Seaside, which is one of my favorite tournaments ever. Chose to stay at home, rest up, lift a little bit, get out with my boy Nathan, just recharge the battery so I'm fully healthy going into Manhattan and Virginia Beach. So I'm stoked. I'm fired up for Manhattan.